Hello YouTube Society, Wardens here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play The Walking Dead. So when we left off about one and a half month ago, uh, we just found a battery and we helped Kenny uh, with the fuel tanks here. So I don't know what to Ring. do now. Hey Lee, thanks Which is good. for all your help back there. I don't You're think welcome. we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. Hmm. What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Oh. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Yeah, okay, Even I guess. Now with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old. Even children. Those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. <laughs> That's cool. But it's how I, I feel. I agree. I agree. You've That's seen what I've seen. So I feel the same. insane. What they did. So you're a cancer, so you're a survivor. cancer survivor. Like Vernon and the others. Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. Oh. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? Yeah, I guess. How long have you known Vern? A couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together. Kept us alive. Good job, Vernon. I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. I already got the battery, for fuck's sake. But I guess we'll go help with the medicine. So where are we? So according to Bree, fuel is at the maintenance shed. Medicine might be at the nurse's office. And a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here. We have the fuel and the battery. Okay, so where we are here, I guess. So we should get... Over there. If we're gonna find medicine anywhere, that would be the place to look. Yeah, I kinda got that. Okay, see ya guys. I like the way he opens doors and then walks through. <laughs> Looks so funny. Okay. Hey guys! Having a party? Yeah, you look excited, huh? Can't, I can't let you in now. Not yet. Shell shell casings all over. Never happened here. Doesn't so good. No shit. Mm. Whoa! Shit. That's not good. Vernon must be trapped in there. Isn't that a bit too many? You get two at once. No. Wow, well, that's a slow reaction. Bam! Yay! <laughs> that was easy. They move so goddamn slow. Whoa! <laughs> it's even slower reaction there. The Holy hallway shit! After we got inside, I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Damn it. There's no way we can bust it open? Maybe with enough time, but I don't know how much of that we have. Be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Okay. Mm. 
towards that. Take time to rest later. <laughs> okay, that was not what I had in mind anyway, but yes. A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination though. Okay. God damn it. Looks like some kind of medical file. And hmm. Korea. She must have been a patient here. And what's this? A tape? Of some sort? Phones probably haven't worked in months. <laughs> uh, you don't say. Um, hey, what's that? No Video tape camera. inside. But we have a tape. Let's try and watch it. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. Mm. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. Why? You need to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh. Oh God, oh God, oh God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. Wow. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Damn, that's harsh. No wonder why Bree had such a damn it hateful feeling at it. What the hell kind of place was this? this place. Mama said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe um. you should search it. See what he's got on him. He was the one Molly was like blah, 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 all over the place. <laughs> I know what blah, blah, what that was, but that was what she was doing anyway. Let's look for another tape. What do we have here? Blood drawers maybe. Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. God damn it. Hmm. First aid kit. Already cleaned out. Okay, nothing there. Blood. There's dried blood on this printout. And on the floor. Looks like a trail of it from the safe to the camera over there. Then out the door. What the hell happened here? Hmm. What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. Oh, of the baby. I guess. Okay, I don't think there's anything in here anymore, so let's go out. And look around if we could find maybe another tape or something. Mm. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. God damn it. Uh, first of all, all illness and medical conditions must be disclosed. Oh shit. That doesn't sound good. What do we have here? Uh, just. Hey, maybe on uh, the doctor out of the alley. Maybe he has, like, a tape on him. Or even the combination. That would be better. Way. 
delivers made in rear. Hmm. Okay. Whoa! What the fuck? Oh shit! Oh shit, man! You can't just do that. What the hell? A TV fell on him. Well, that was convenient. <laughs> Please don't break. Thank you. Yeah, there he is. Hey, zombie. Yo. Now let's check on him. Bingo. This might be just what we need. Yeah. What's this? Looks like some kind of code. Oh, that's for his locker. Combination was only four numbers. Shit. Time to go. And how do exactly? Okay. No explanation needed there, apparently. Whatever. Okay, let's start with bloody locker. Logan, this must have been his locker. And I'll save. Combination has got to be on one of these. All righty. So now we watch those two and hopefully find out the code and what the hell happened to that pregnant girl. I can't remember her name. I found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Well, let's watch that one. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy, or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living, if this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please, help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Oh. No. No. Well, that escalated quickly. tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. Well, at least I'm going to watch it. Just for the hell of it. Take her away. 
I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Why would he even record this? Uh, uh, that doesn't even make sense. Well, shit. <laughs> oh well. I understand why he would keep it in his lager if he record since he recorded this. Wow, 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 wow. Hey, Molly! Jesus Christ! Oh, you scared the shit out of me! <laughs> Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. Well, I I'll don't think that's. Now. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. Did you lose it? Seriously, Molly? I'm just kidding. Oh. Thank God. Here you go. That would not fit in that but that small backpack. That doesn't even make sense. Whatever. We have the battery now. It's okay. okay. Nothing. A picture of her sister, I guess. You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place or in their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic. By Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. That's so sad. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. It's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Who's ringing the bell? And who the fuck took that hatchet? Now that's bad. That is really bad. Chip! He took it. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. What the fuck are you doing out here? Kenny and I still can't get the door open to the armory. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, Ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh, no. Oh, shit! <laughs> yeah, that's not good. Fuck! <laughs> Keep going, Molly. Oh shit, that's bad. Shoot this fucker! Yeah, that's. Thanks. Did I shoot? I didn't shoot. It wasn't me. Going, kid. Nice shot. Whoa. Well done, Clementine. Holy shit! Get back. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh shit! That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! Yeah, move away. Can you can you move away, please? We got this. This is got this. All my fault. What the hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault, Penny? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. I opened the door. 
Hammer them in. Ben, we don't have time for this now. I'm sorry, we I can't do this anymore. He's got a right to know. No, God damn it. It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katya and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Ben, for fuck's sake, that is not the time. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the motor inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. That's when Duck... Okay, enough! Calm down, man! You little pisshead! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! Yeah. My wife and child! You gotta both fucking kill! Kenny, Kenny it's not the time right now. Down. Nice group you got here. Yeah, Not thank you. the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave it. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well, but all I want to do is get back to Omi. Uh, you put that at risk. But Wait, don't I get a vote? Sure. Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We oh. don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? Oh my god, don't stay with us. I've I seen gotta... enough of Crawford to know that becoming like them is the beginning of the end. I vote yeah. Ben stays with us. What about I know. the rest of us? Don't we get a second? <laughs> oh no! Oh god! Uh. Uh, well, now you don't at least. Uh. Holy shit! Yeah, yeah, go, 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 go. Vernon, come on! Brennan, thank you. Holy shit. Okay, uh, I think we have to end this episode here. You can't close it, so much man. For the armory. What's left? All right. Uh, thanks for watching. Rounds. Go click That's like it. if you enjoyed the video, and please subscribe for more. Door us. I could it's a run out this as soon as this gutsy right. Just ends. Right. Come on, there's gotta be a way out down here. Okay, that's a very long card. See, can't see the parrot. Oh shit! Well, that's bad. Fuck! It's not gonna hold. Back upstairs. Ooh, shotgun. Lee, look. Okay. And I guess we say goodbye now. In a second. Come on. Okay, there we go. Bye.